I want to make sure that the circle fits your head perfectly, Mr. Duck. M Mr. Duck. Mr. Duck. Circle. Perfect. Perfect! How's it going, everyone? I'm Insulting Dave, and I think doing this turned Pink Fox into a duck. Anyway, well, with that done and done, we got a couple side quests we're gonna do before we end up getting to the um, actual main storyline stuff. Now, bear in mind, there's gonna be a lot of skip in here, so you guys don't have to watch me go back and forth into areas we've already been. So be ready for that. That being said, no. Oh boy. No girls back. I, I don't... Hey, broken down fortune teller. I'm fine. Go on. Go on. Please leave me be. Ball. My crystal ball has shattered. And without it, my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. It's almost as though these exquisite all-seeing eyes of mine have begun to dull and cloud over with sadness now. Then my crystal ball is gone. Bad. Bad pink fox. I'm not telling you to do something. I'm just saying bad. Not really. Pink fox thinks she's being honest, but she had no clue. If only... If only I had a new crystal ball that's completely broken it in half. What did you do? Is it not true that you recovered a piece of the windmill from beneath the clouds? Yeah. The shattered crystal ball was salvaged from below by Gondo's ancestor long before it found its way into my del delicate hands. There may still be others like it. Where it came from. Yes, yes. Would you search for a new one for me? Sure. Before she gets the chance to... S before no. Pink Fox... Yeah, before Pink Fox gets the chance to deny it. Yes! No doubt you can see the gratitude in my eyes. Don't thank me yet. The robot was, who originally retrieved this crystal ball was said to have reported that he found it in a building atop a mountain peak. Can you believe it? Yes. In fact, shut up, Fee. I'm going to show you guys exactly where it is. Now! What? Okay, um. You're. How. You guys saw it, right? I was literally at the edge of the cloud, and somehow that, that counted. I mean, I'll, don't, don't get me wrong, I'll take it. Um, but... What? Yes, I want to go to the temple entrance. Okay. Now that we're here, let's... Do this. Yay. And... Why did I pull out a harp? The harp ain't gonna help me here. Ah. And there you have it. I have located a substance that closely resembles its... See, it's pretty much the same thing except not broken. It should make a suitable replacement. Shall I call the robot to collect it? it sure. Master, I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission. Oh, goody. We get to see the guy we don't like. Hi! Mistress V, I'm here. Okay, LD301S Scrapper. What? Who gave you your name? Can I just call you Scrap? No, you know, I'm going to call you Crap. That is your new name. Hey, Crap. Take this piece of circle thing up to the sky. You 
want me to carry this? Yes! Hey, Master Shortpants, how come you always get the easy jobs? You think my job's easy? In this episode, we're going to be doing something a lot more difficult than your ass. And that's hard to be. <sighs> Alrighty. Master, I suggest we also read. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's go back to the house. Okay, buddy, we're back. I got crap right here above my head. He's carrying your crystal ball. This is good enough for you. If you need me, Zerboosh, Clang, what are these sound effects? Feel free to call. For Mistress V, I will travel to any destination, Curtis. Assuming that's what that sound is supposed to, oh my gosh, he's, he's too in love. He's too in love with the thing. Ooh, what do my eyes behold? This, this is it. You found it. This is exactly the same as the crystal ball I used before. Whoa. I'm not just hearing this, am I? <laughs> it's, it's the sen- Okay. I'm obviously not hearing it. It's the sensor that's inside the controller. Fates and fortune! My eyes are wide- They're definitely wide! With thrill of possibility and damp with tears of- I don't see the tears, but I do- I, I, I do see the wide eyes, but I don't see no tears, buddy. I'll be able to start gazing into the future and making predictions at once. Come by the bazaar again and I'll tell you your fortune. Not gonna happen. But thank you for the gratitude crystals. Much appreciated. That's one side quest down. If I remember correctly, there are two more. One of them in the long haul get you 10 gratitude crystals, the other one just gets you five. Let's go do another one. At the Lumpy Pumpkin. There's a lot of jumping today, but you know what? I want to get the main story done, so that's why. I'll see you guys over at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Geronimo, little lady. Hi. Hi. I did not expect you to say hi back. Oh, thanks for helping me carry the pumpkins the other day. That was like 15 episodes ago, lady. Thanks to you, we're ready to plant the new seeds. <clears throat> the only thing is, applying the patch so that it's ready to be planted is hard work. If only there was someone who was read really good at plowing the fields. I actually know someone. <gasps> really? If that's the case... Actually, Pink Fox just asked me. Technically, yes. But no. <laughs> I'd love to ask this person to help me out. Hey, Big Fox, get over here. She wants your help. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> well, there's the no again. Big Fox, come on. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, Fee. I'll go grab the actual person. Let's go. All right, let's go to the Volcano Ascent. I believe that's where I want to be. Right. No, but I can get there from here. Hi, buddy. That was totally not very loud at all. Hi. Wait, can't I just... Oh, yeah. Actually, it is close. It is close. I got lucky with this one. I'm not even going to lie. All righty. I did not mean I did not mean to do that. Okay. And right right here. Land right on top of the guy. Land right on top of the guy. Ow. I'm just gonna assume Pink Fox says no to that. No. Wait, 
Okay, Pink Fox does say no. So we meet again? Hey, who are you? I mean, your name is Gold. Eduardo. This guy's name is Gold. No, his name is Eduardo. And what? Beautiful. Sure. You know what? Pink Fox says no, so we'll go with that. His name is now Eduardo, apparently. Um, I gotta thank you for your help last time. What? Dude. It, what last He's time? Trying to flirt with you. That's a he. Uh, Gold, I mean, uh, eld, 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 elderly man thing. You've been searching for treasure spots. I can't find a single bobble or bit of treasure. Maybe I'm just getting woozy from working so long in this heat. Admittedly, it's finally getting kind of hot, but I, I doubt that's the reason. Sometimes I wish I could find a job that really played to my strengths. Yeah. Uh, something in a cool climate. Then I'd be set. Apparently I know a place. So you know a place with work that I'd be good at? Okay, that's a definitely... Yes. It's in the sky. I love the sky! Whoa, calm down. That... I know you're excited, but come on, man. Where do I sign up? I'm telling you. I'm in. Let's do this thing. All right. Taking you there right now. Pink Fox is neglecting resuming this. Hi. That doesn't make sense. That that thing should care. He that you should be falling to the floor. Yo. Not you. I'm not talking to Pink Fox and yet she's declining ev Seriously, everything. The only thing I'm going to hear out of Pink Fox's mouth in this episode is no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I... No. I would not be surprised. I brought the old magmas. Okay, drop him. Ay, ay, ay. Send my best to the. I'm a little bit slow right now. Oh, yay! You found someone, didn't you? Y yes. Wait a second. This isn't a person. Ah, so you're saying that this mole is going to. I mean, sure, yeah. He's gonna plow for you. Come on, are you seriously trying to get me to work on a field all day? Is that why you hauled me all the way up here in the sky? <laughs> well, good luck, Mr. Mole Man. What? But you. But. I. 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 I guess I could at least give it a try. Hey! So what do you think? Wow, look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> you think? Well, it was nothing, really. Rooting around in the dirt is child's play for us Mogwans. Yay! <laughs> wow, one more time, please. Again, again. How old are you, Kena? How old are, how old are you? Uh, gold, I mean, and, 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 whatever your name really is. And there he goes. Okay. I'm so grateful that you brought this lovely guy to help me. I'm going to ask him to help with all kinds of things. Thank you very, very, very much. You're, hey, sure. Got five gratitude crystals, leaving ten left. Which I think is just one side mission, like I said before, but I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, with that done... We can finally hit progression, which to do that, we's gots to go back to Skyloft. That's gonna be fun. Oh boy. It feels like so much, the game feels like it's sometimes more flying than actual playing. Has anybody ever noticed that before? I just heard Pink Fox say no. 
I'm hearing no. I said yes. <laughs> You can say Amber if you want to. There it is. There's the no. Tricked you into it. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, here are the no's. This, this was the no I was talking to. See, Pink Fox says no. I did not mean to go in here. I am leaving. And this is where I meant to go. And Master Gapora, I got a question for you. Hey. Ah, hello, Link. Have you heard anything more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. About that. You want to tell me, but you can't. Hmm. I understand. I'm sure you have good reason for keeping quiet. That's an understatement. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning. Or choice, for that matter. But I wish to help you as I as best I can. It's something you can do to help. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth. But even old men have ways of being useful too. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any questions, shut up that uh, vehicle behind your desk. How did you hear that? Oh, wait, that's not what you said. Never mind. <laughs> if you have any questions, any questions at all about Skyloft or its history, I would be glad to tell you all that I know. Actually, there's something. What do I know of the Triforce? Link. Where did you hear that word? It's true that the ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. You just answered your own question, but that's not the answer I was going to give you. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't eliminated in any of those tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Sorry, Link. It shames me to say it, but my knowledge is of little use on this subject. Well, Dagnabbit, fine. You're useless. Wait. Leak, just a moment. Am I going to regret saying that now? Are you? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love you too, Pink Fox. Hey, it's a word aside from no for once. No, oh, we're back to square one again. <laughs> Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Oh, really? Surely you're familiar with Levias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Levias has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Where is he? Oh, uh, yeah. I feared that might be your next question. About that. What? I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. You mean that giant dome that's basically a giant cloud? Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Levias is trapped inside that massive cloud. Okay. I asked Instructor Olin to... L Alan? Alan? I don't know how to pronounce that. Look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there is any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Oh yeah, you forgot. Instructor... Instructor Olin can fill me in on the details later. So why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. Okay. Thanks for at least some help, and yep, I... 
I, 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 I regret the claim I stated on you. Can we please forget that? I'm going to pretend he said yes and move on. Instructor Olin. Ah, oh, Link. How goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? No. What? Pink Fox just said no, but that's utter BS. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I have. Then Zelda does not exist if I haven't. What? The bias? Ah, so you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead. But that's not the Levias that we all know. That's a monster. <laughs> it certainly looks like Levias. But last time I approached him, he came rushing at me. And his eyes, they were full of malice. He'll change. Or old, wizen, wizened creatures change, rather. Perhaps it's more that he is possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levias? That's uh, impossible. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. Well, I want to do it anyway, because I'm an idiot. And uh, even if you... Pink Fox just called me an idiot. Hey! <laughs> Pink Fox just called me an idiot! Even if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it will likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in the sea of clouds. I still want to, because I'm an idiot. Again. What? You're still planning on going? What happened to the nose Pink Fox used to do? Just so many, uh, just N-O's. Now she's like, oh, yeah, this, that, and I'm like, Ugh, what is this? <laughs> you asked. Okay, I asked for it. She just said no again. I asked for it. Uh, anyway, I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say would take talk you out of it. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Okay. And we're out here now. Levias is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely. Like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that has a hold over him, then there's a chance he will return to his senses. No. Pink Fox says no, so you're wrong. Apparently. Listen well, Link, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Using the Spiral Charge, you can rid Levias of the blight that he has hold of him that has hold of him i can't speak the technique is quite easy to perform all you have to do is press x however the acceleration effect lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far maintaining stable flight can be tricky not really this is a technique that only senior knight academy students who have mastered high level flight skills are allowed to perform Still a bit too early for you, but this is an extraordinary circumstance, so I'll make an exception this time. Okay. However, I will test you. This is the one time you say you don't say no. This is like the one time I wanted Pink Fox to say no, and she did not. She neglects it no, by sorry. saying, by saying no to my request. I'm like, Mwah. I know, I know how to do this. Thank you. All right. Listen up, Link. I taught your lofting to perform spiral chart. Okay. 
So basically, hit 10 targets and you get to keep Spiral Charge. Within 12, well, that's actually a lot more time than necessary. Oops. Actually, that benefited me more than not. Ah, I missed! I missed! Oops. Sorry, Birdie. I mean, for heaven's sake. Ah! I did a bad. <laughs> I, I, I got both the charge and I killed whatever was carrying it. Ow! Well, I mean, I got this anyway, but for some reason I'm struggling with the still image ones. Or the stationary ones. Same difference! Yeah, we're, we're good. There are three left. One's right here, and the other two are on a rock above me. This rock. Except, you know, I don't want to ram into the rock. Good job, Pink Box. You're right. I don't want to ram into the rock. You just want to see my head go bursting, don't you? She's nodding. I, d I don't... Ugh. Oh, you managed to destroy ten targets within the, the time limit. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. If you can control your bird that well, you'll have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link. I doubt that. And what a magnificent red bird. You are henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a qualified bird rider. The next thing we have to address is just how to go about finding Leviathan. Maybe the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin might know some... You're telling me to go back there again? Gah, I'm not even going to listen to what you have to say. Fine. Let's go. Okay, let's go in here. I'm sure we'll get the delivery in no time. This shouldn't be much of a... Uh... Uh... That's a big pumpkin. It's, look, 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 it's... That's taller than Link is. It's Dude. taller than I am. Hey, how much, how much freaking pumpkin soup are you putting in that thing? A fat turkey. What's the matter? You look like you've got something mighty serious on your mind. Yeah, um, yeah. Levias? What about him? Sure, I know Levias well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin. I can see that. But lately a huge thunderhead has been brewing there. I haven't yet made this year's offering. I tell you, I feel horrible about it. No. You say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to Levias? Huh. I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but... If that's the case... I'm going to do everything I can to make Levi's the best batch of soup ever. You wait right here. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never souped before. Okay. Voila! Here it is. I've been cooking this stuff for well over ten years. And I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I have ever created. Master, I will signal for the robot. Again. You guys only saw it once, but... And this is not once, I believe. Miss V, I'm here. Zzz. Hi. I can't... There you are. Hi. Oh, this is another heavy load. But don't worry can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. 
I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you are ready. Thanks. Don't worry, it'll be a split second and we'll be good. I'm not going to keep you waiting too long. Kind of want to take care of... Um, hi. Place where I offer soup to Levias is inside the Thunderhead Cloud on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Good luck. Well, we've been in the Thunderhead before, so... Let's go back and be there again, because... We're totally ready for this. Actually, quite frankly, it's not that bad. What we're about to do isn't that bad at all. It be this better be a case if I said that and I don't screw it up, otherwise... Ugh. <sighs> Anyway, regardless, let's go to the Thunderdrome, or Thunderhead, same thing. Get ready for a speed up this time. Or, you know what, let's cut. You've seen me go in there before, let's cut. Okay, well, this must be the island, because I don't see no other island with rainbows and sunshines and flowers. Okay, bring it down here, buddy. I'm unloading this cargo of pumpkin soup here. Thanks, crap boy. Get out. You picked an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Something could jump out at us at any moment. Hungry for soup. Or robot. Yeah, and? Your point? I'm out of here. See you around. What? Hello? Levias, I presume. You are one big boy. With three gruesome, four gruesome, three? Four. Four gruesome eyes attached to your body in random spots that make them look like they're zits with eyes. Just imagine a zit, a whale with four ginormous zits and eyes on each zit. You know what? No, don't, don't imagine that. That's disgusting. Never mind. All right, time to take this guy down. If I can align with the frickin' eyes, which I'm really bad at. Boink! That's one! I say I'm bad at it, and then I hit him off the bat. Ah! Ow! Your foot hit me! Two! Two down, two to go. Actually, yeah, this ain't gonna take any time at all. Ah! Ah! Oh, you know what? I got lucky with that one. I'm not. I'm not even gonna argue it. I got lucky with that one. All right, three down. Actually, this is not that bad. Then again, I, I, as I've said prior to this, I played. He just tail whipped me. There you go. That's all four of them. And there's this guy. This guy gave me crap when I first played it because I had no idea what to do. It's one of those things where, unless you have a walkthrough, you're going to have a hard time figuring out what you're supposed to do. There we go. All right. Let's get this last part of the battle started. Hey, buddy. Well, you look like a fancy spine. You literally look like a bear. Ugh. You look like a mix of a spine and a, a, like a water enemy of some sort. Okay, let me smack your wings here, buddy. I will admit, though, as I said before, if you're playing this for the first time, this would be kind of something difficult to just figure out. Ow! <laughs> hey, how'd you like the SmackDown? 
Fun? I hope so. It was fun for me. <laughs> Alright, buddy. You can scream at me all you want. It's not gonna do anything. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from you so you don't... Yeah, that's my god. Okay. You should be close to dead. I really hope. I mean, bro, at this point... At, at this point, you're literally just scouring to fight someone. There it is. Okay, you're almost done. Oops. I meant to go straight down. Ow. Alright, that was my fault. Alright, there's one. How many times do I have to hit him when he's in the air like that? Dude, I swung! How did that miss him? How did that miss you? Dude! The... the I will say this, the controls are still janky. Okay, two. Like, I'm scrolling to the right, and it's doing nothing. How is that missing you? Bro, that's... That's bogus. Okay, three. How is that missing you? Four. That it hit you that time. Uh, hello? Oops, okay, that one was my fault. Admittedly, that one was my fault. You, you were watching. You saw what I was doing. It didn't register. Okay, I went... Bad controls in this game. Really bad controls. Okay, that was my fault. There we go. Dang, man, you suck. Well, no. Controller, you suck. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. We could be thrown off at any point. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We gotta watch out. This could be problems. This could be problems. Hi. Hello. How are you? Tell me, boy. Was it you who brought me the most delectable cauldron of him? Yeah. Pumpkin soup, yep. I did that. Must apologize for my earlier behavior. The most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. But that business is done with now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. I am the great spirit they call Levias. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. And what do they call you, boy? Ah. Huh. Link, is it? A rather pleasing name, that. Your parents clearly have excellent taste in <laughs> Good job, Nintendo. Hmm. You carry a curious sword, boy. And I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. Ah, uh, I see it now. Link, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assume you've come to hear what I know of, what I know of the Triforce. I can't, I can, for some weird reason, I can never finish that sentence without staggering. As I suspected, listen closely and I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago, an evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. Demise? The goddess did everything in her power to prevent it from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, she hid the Triforce somewhere within the rock you call Skylong. However, its location has been kept secret. Even I do not know where it rests now. Oh, but the goddess did entrust me with a hint as to the Triforce's location. The clue is a song. 
meant to be played on the harp you hold. It is known as the Song of the Hero, the last song I didn't make the list. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. The goddess split this song into four parts. She entrusted one part to me and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the Song of the Hero. Seek out the dragons and convince them to teach you their parts. When they've taught you what they know, come to me and I will complete the song with my own voice. The dragons can be found at Farin Woods, Elden Volcano, and the Nehru Desert. Go on then. Find the dragons you now see. Okay. Well, the Thunderhead's no longer electric or anything. It's actually kind of bright. Anyway. I'm going to make my way back to Skyloft and save basically in the same place that we started this video. But simultaneously, I'm going to leave this here. So while I do this, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I will admit this is my take two because the first take didn't really settle. It didn't stick. It, I mean, well, it did, but my computer decided to erase it for absolutely no reason. Either that or I did it unintentionally, one or the other. Anyway, yeah, leaving this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a Zelda game you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, there's a long list of them anyway, so I'm pretty sure we'll get to it at some point. Um, if you want to check out any others that have been done prior to this, click the link in the well, across my head here, and the train taking you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link in the top right corner, and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, and we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.